Antigua has 365 beaches, one for each day of the year. But we're at my favorite, Valley Church Beach. I'm gonna tell you how to get here on the cheap. Check it out. I'm a Charleston native. I love to go on cruises, travel to amazing places, and enjoy local cuisine. This is Local Charleston. As I said, I'm going to show you how to get to this wonderful Valley Church Beach on the cheap by using their clean and efficient public transportation. The West Bus Station Terminal is a short 10 minute walk and a very easy walk to do as well. As you get off your cruise ship, just head straight ahead into town and keep going straight. The reason I want to do this video is because the cruise ship excursion that goes to Valley Church Beach, I think, is way overpriced. The excursion on my ship cost $41 a person, and that is merely for transportation to and from the beach. They throw in a rum punch, but I mean, is the rum punch really worth all that extra money? Now, if you want to go with a taxi cab, which are really easy to get, I mean, you literally just walk right off the boat and the cab drivers are there, they'll charge you $10 a person to take you to the beach, and you can come and go at your own convenience and are not restricted to the two hours you get with the shore excursion. We, however, are going to make the short walk to the local bus station where we can save a ton of money. And now an extremely important pro tip, get off the ship as soon as possible. The earlier the better. These resorts book up quickly, so if you want a decent chair, you need to get there really early. And if you don't get there by 10 o'clock, you might not even have a chair to book at all. And it's not just this way in Antigua. A lot of the other places we stopped were the same situation. We went to Barbados, and by the time we got off the ship and got to the resort we wanted to go to, all the loungers were completely taken up. Now, as you're walking along, you'll come upon Market Street, and this is where you'll take a right. And this is the only direction change we have to make this entire walk. Now, I'm close to 60 years old, and I'm not in the greatest shape. And I'm carrying a backpack with lots of gear in it. And I really didn't have a tough time walking at all. I didn't get sweaty. I wasn't out of breath. It was really kind of an easy grade. So it was a pretty easy walk to get to where we were going. And as we were walking, we weren't the least bit intimidated or felt afraid of the locals. They were very polite and helpful and were just going about their average busy day, getting ready for work, and you see kids in their school uniforms getting ready to go to school. The sidewalks themselves are broken in some spots, so you may have to do a little dodging, but just be careful, keep your eyes open, and watch out for potholes. Now you know you're getting close to the bus terminal when on your left there's this huge statue of one of the local citizens. I don't know for sure who it is, but that lets you know that you're almost there. Right before you get to the buses are some local vendors selling fruits and snacks. So after an easy 10 minute stroll, we finally arrive at the bus station to get our bus to go to Valley Church Beach. The buses are basically passenger vans. They're very clean. And for two people, it cost us $5, just $5 to get to the beach. Now, when we got here, we got on the bus and we had to wait about, I don't know, six or seven minutes before we finally took off. But it was very cool with the windows open and an easy wait. Now, Valley Church Beach is only about 10 kilometers from the bus station. It's a short ride, about 18 to 20 minutes, and the views along the way are pretty interesting. Most bus drivers know how to get here, but there's no real signage on the side of the road that announces that it's Valley Church Beach. So keep an eye out for the surfboard on the right side of the road. When you see that, you know you're at the entrance. From here, it's just another short walk down this dirt road that leads to Valley Church Beach proper. Now right here is the actual signage that lets you know you have arrived at Valley Church Beach and you're on your way. From here, you have a brisk five minute walk and it's an easy walk. The dirt road is very smooth and easy. There's no hills, it's all flat. So you just stroll along until you come up on the complex proper. 
Now there are taxi cabs and buses coming and going, so be sure to keep your eyes open as you're strolling down the road. You don't want to get in their way. And finally we arrive at the complex where you will be staying at Valley Church Beach. This is where you go to rent your chairs and umbrellas, get your cold beer, get something to eat, and they have a fellow that's running the place that organizes all of that. So you just got to get with him as soon as you arrive. Now I shot this video in March of 2023 and at the time two loungers and an umbrella cost $20 total. Once you get here you'll realize the journey was well worth it when you see this beautiful beach with its pristine blue water and wonderful warm sand. Now one of the things I love about this beach is the way they space the loungers. You're not crammed in there elbow to elbow like some resorts. They give you some breathing room so you can really enjoy the beach. It's also not overrun with hawkers trying to sell you stuff. We ran into two ladies that were selling things and with a polite no thank you they walked away and never bothered us again. And there's also some guys running up and down the beach trying to sell jet ski adventures and if you're into that go for it. But they once again once you give them a polite no thank you never really bothered you again. So my wife and I got here early and we were able to secure loungers and an umbrella right on the beach with nobody in front of us right in the middle of the complex. The people from our ship who had booked the shore excursion arrived later than we did and they ended up having to sit in lounge chairs behind us. It is so worth it to get here early. Just check out this view I shot. This is shot with me sitting in my lounger just panning the camera around. I mean look at that view. That's a one in a million view right there. The resort does offer its own restaurant and bar. There are also changing rooms and bathrooms available, as well as some tents set up selling local wares. We decided it was time to have a nice adult beverage to enjoy at our chair, so I strolled on up here to check out the menus and see what they had available. It was still a bit early, so the restaurant was not too packed as of yet, but trust me, by the time we left this beach, this place was hopping. If you want to, pause the video right here and you can see their entire food menu that they have available. The prices aren't terrible for Caribbean island prices. Now I slowed this video down. This is their beer, wine, and mixed drink prices. Be sure to, if you want to, to pause and peruse through it and figure out what you want and see how much it's going to cost you ahead of time. They had a pretty reasonable selection of beers and wines available at a not too terrible price. I mean a lot of places will really gouge you but not this place. I went with my usual favorite, a nice ice cold bucket of six beers which cost about $20. And it's a local beer called Deputy. It's a lager. It was very light and refreshing and easy to drink on a warm sunny day. Since we saved money, my wife and I decided to take the taxi back to the cruise port at $20. So overall, for our transportation, the chairs, the bucket of beer, our total expense on this trip, $65. So if you want to enjoy an amazing beach day without breaking the bank, use the public transportation to get there and save a ton of money. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps grow the channel. And we put out a number of cruise videos, as well as videos of restaurants in Charleston, South Carolina. And as always, thanks for watching.